Hey, this is John, and thanks for checking out today's video. This is going to be an acoustic guitar tutorial for Werewolves of London by Warren Zevon. It's getting to be Halloween time, the air is starting to cool off, and occasionally we get requests for songs like this when we go play live. In fact, we're learning this song right now in one of the bands I play with. Uh, if you like the video, please like and subscribe down below. We're trying to get to 1,000 subscribers so we can help monetize this channel and get some people into some free one-on-one -on -one lessons and more affordable instruments. If you'd like to learn more about that, please check out the links to the Patreon down below and know that people that join the Patreon a lot of times will get lessons to the guitar profiles and PDFs for each lesson. Let's get started. At a high level, Werewolves of London has three chords. D, C, and G. And if you just want to play those open chords along with the music or along with your band, that is totally awesome. So you can just do... Or you can make it a little bit more like the original, even uh, sort of aping the piano part. So if you were to go up here... So I have sort of a fake F shape here that you would play sort of like a, an easy F up in the first position, only I'm moving that down to the 10th fret. And I'm playing, so I'm putting a pinky down on the 12th fret of the second string to give it that bum bum, like the piano plays on the record. And then that's gonna move down, that whole shape, down to the eighth fret. And then we're gonna move that whole shape down to the third fret, leave the pinky off, but then bring it in. So we do two without it, one with it, and then without it. So all together that part will sound like... And then again... And then here we're going to play the D chord shape, but we're going to use it to hit a G chord. So we'll have our first and second finger on the seventh fret of the third and first string. And then we'll bring our third finger in on the eighth string of the second string. And we're gonna do a little, and then bring the pinky in, and then take the pinky off. Another part you hear in the verse is just sort of the tags. So that's just bar chords on the 5th and 3rd fret, so that's the D, down to the C, then to the G, do it again, and then you get that little uh, higher G chord again. Another thing that you're hearing occasionally uh, during that part is the... And then he's doing... So you're starting with the second finger on the sixth string, opening the fifth string, then hammering on the second fret, then to the fourth string. So it's like a little in-between riff. Those are sort of the main parts to Werewolves of London. Again, the song just repeats D, C, a G the whole time. Uh, and then there's even a little sort of bluesy uh, lead slide solo there in a G major pentatonic. So have fun with this. Play it in however complicated version you'd like or however an easy version you'd like. It's a great campfire song uh, as well as doing something with a band. So that's it. If you like the video, please like and subscribe down below. Uh, we're trying to get to a thousand subscribers to monetize the channel for beginners uh, lessons and affordable instruments. If you'd like to learn more about that, check out the Patreon links down below, and we'll see you in the next video.